find out how paint's made, I've come here to a paint factory. Here, they make all kinds of paint in hundreds of different colours. But today, they're making a type of paint that goes on walls, and it's called emulsion. They are making hundreds of pots of emulsion paint here, so they need lots of ingredients. And it all starts by weighing out the dry ingredient on scales. It's a bit like weighing out the ingredients for a cake, only much, much bigger. There are four different powders that need to be measured in just the right quantities. These will all help to thicken and whiten the paint. Because even most coloured paints start out with a white base. Next, all of the wet ingredients are measured in here and they're put inside this big silver pot. The main wet ingredient is water and this batch of emulsion needs 350 litres of it. That's enough to fill four bathtubs. The big pot is called the disperser and that is the disperser blade. It gets lowered down into the pot where it will spin round and round to mix all of the wet and dry ingredients together. But first, we have to turn it on. Here it goes. All of the water is swirling round inside and it's time to add the extra ingredients. But I've got my special camera and a light so that we can see what's happening inside. Ready, Joe? The dry ingredients we measured earlier are poured in through a grate, along with some liquid chemicals, which will help keep the paint fresh. Whoa! It's gloopy, isn't it? Can you hear that? It's noisy, isn't it? That's because the disperser blade is spinning really fast and it makes a lot of noise. A liquid called resin is added, which binds all the ingredients together. And then the disperser blade is left to spin for a long time, over two hours. It's time for a cup of tea. It's a lot of spinning and a lot of waiting. Wow! It looks so different! <gasps> I love how it's glooping off the disperser blades. Ooh, it's making a pretty pattern here. Looks a bit like a snowflake. The paint is pumped out of the disperser along these pipes. Now the paint's been mixed, it needs to go in a can. And for that, we use a filling machine. Whoa. It's like a paint shower. Wow, did you see that? But there's still one more thing this paint needs, and that's colour. To give our paint some colour, we use this. It's called a tint machine, and inside are different colour liquids. They're called pigments. Look there. There's a green pigment and a yellow pigment. You select the colour that you want and then you put the can under the machine and then the pigment squirts from the machine into the paint. A little bit of blue, green, orange and lots and lots of yellow. But all of these colours need to get mixed together to make one colour. What do you think that's going to be? To find out, the can is put into another machine called a paint shaker. <gasps> Look at that! The can of paint has been shaken around to mix all of those colours together. It's like it's dancing. Can you shake like a paint can? And here's our final paint, and it's a lovely lime green colour. <laughs>